Fishing a soft bait on a jig head has got to be one of the most effective ways of targeting all predatory species and it's such a simple method as well. Now there are loads of different types of jig heads and different types of soft baits that you can rig onto them. So in this short video I'm going to explain the basics of fishing a soft bait on a jig head and how to rig them up. So a jig head is a hook with a weight fixed to the front of the shank and the eye comes out the top of the weight and this is where you attach your snap. Now most jig heads have a fairly long shank to them and that allows you to rig the soft bait on nice and straight. And there are tons of different sizes of hooks, weights and shapes of the weights that you can buy depending on the type of soft bait that you're rigging up and the size depending on the situation that you're fishing in. Now you can rig any soft bait onto a jig head, whether that's a shad, a creature bait or a split tail. And the reason that there are so many different types of jig heads are because of the wide variety of soft baits for different situations. So I've picked up a 10cm Pro Shad here and I've decided that the best size of jig head to rig it on for the situation that I'm fishing in is a 5 gram 4.0 jig head. Now the reason I've chosen a 4.0 hook is because when I match up the soft bait to the jig head, the hook is going to be coming out of the back of the soft bait around about a third to halfway down the body. And that's a nice distance because when a fish takes the lure, there's a good chance that you'll hook it, but the hook point won't be coming too far back so that it affects the action of the lure. And the reason that I've chosen five gram as a weight is because I'm fishing on a river at the moment that's around about five foot deep on average and it's got a pretty sort of slow to medium flow to it. So I think this weight of jig head is going to get down enough and I'll be able to feel what's going on. So when it comes to rigging the soft bait onto the jig head, the most important thing is to make sure that the soft bait sits straight along the jig head. So I've rigged up two bad examples of pro shads rigged onto the same size jig head that I've just shown you and now I'm going to show you how to rig up a soft bait onto a jig head properly. If you haven't rigged a soft bait onto a jig head before, to make sure you get it right first time, the best way to do it is by holding the soft bait alongside the jig head and marking by eye where the hook point is going to come out along the back of the lure. So what I do is I get the point of the hook and just make a small little nick along the back where I know the hook point's gonna come out. Turn the soft bait and then push the point of the hook through the nose of the soft bait. And when you're threading the soft bait onto the jig head, make sure it's running through the middle of the body until the point of the hook is in line with where I've made the nick. Then I bring the point of the hook back through the little nick that I've made in the body of the soft bait and slide the soft bait round so that the nose of the soft bait is touching the weight itself. And as you can see, that pro shad is sitting perfectly straight and is now ready to be clipped on. So now that I've got this soft bait rigged onto the jig head perfectly, I can now show to you two of really effective ways of fishing a soft bait on a jig head. So the first really simple way that I'm gonna to describe to you how to fish a soft bait on a jig head is by hopping it along the bottom or jigging. So what I'm gonna do is cast out to a likely looking spot. Now, as soon as the lures hit the water, I keep the rod tip up at about a 10 o'clock angle. I'm always looking at the rod tip so that it helps me detect bites because if you cast into some structure, there's always a good chance of a bite on the drop. So when the lure's falling, you'll notice that the braid or line that you're using will drop back once the lures hit the bottom. Now, I know that that's hit the bottom now. So what I'll do, is just lift the tip of the rod six inches or so, let it fall back to the bottom, and then continue that retrieve all the way back to my feet. So it's really important to be watching the braid all the time, because as soon as that dips back, that's when the lures hit the bottom, and that's the time that you should start to lift the rod tip again. This method is a great way about learning the contours of the bottom. So for example, ledges, drop-offs, holes, flat areas, you can really feel where they are. And it's often in these kind of areas where you get fish holding too. 
The second way that I really like to fish soft baits on the jig head is by fishing them on a straight retrieve. So I'll cast out again and wait for the lure to hit the bottom. So I'm watching that braid all the time. Yep, that's hit the bottom now. So I'll give it a jig to lift it away from any snags and um, weed off the bottom. And then I just do a slow, steady retrieve. And as the lure's swimming back towards me, I'll slowly lower the rod tip so that if I do get a fish take the lure, I've got plenty of leverage to set the hooks. And this is a great way of searching for fish. So although this is a very simple method, it's really effective for all predatory species all year round. And hopefully this short video will help you put a few fish on the bank.